Hello, 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 and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And if you can't tell already, I've been doing a little bit of grinding, trying to grind through these levels as fast as possible so we can start getting our own vehicles. And there's one thing that I've noticed, and that is uh, barn farms. So if you go in your inventory, after you complete an order, you end up with a case. So if we open these cases, you end up with the potential of finding a map for a barn find. Now there we go, we found two in this one case. So it's as simple as that. Anyone who's struggling to find them, that's exactly how you do it. And then all you have to do is go back on your inventory, click on the map, and add barn destination to your map. Simple. Right, so let's go and have a look at one. So how many have we got on the map so far? We've got four on the map. So we'll just go to one for now. $100, yeah, we're okay with that. So let's go and have a look around. Okay, we're here. So what have we got? Oh, hello. That's a very nice car. That's very nice. So what options have we got with this? We've got the buy the car or we can just view it. And viewing it doesn't give us much options at all. Oh my god, the engine's a piece of junk. Can I open the trunk? So you can't really do a lot in regards to the looking at the car. So let's have a look how much they want for that. Oh, 21,617. Ouch. That's just not fair. I'm like a hundred and something dollars away from being able to afford that. That would be an amazing first car to buy. If I remember rightly, it is it is what on here it's called a Chieftain Bandit, but I'm pretty sure it's called a Firebird. Don't hold me to that, I might not be right, but oh, okay, so we can search through junk. Ah, we can find parts. That's awesome. Oh, okay, we've got another car back here with a big supercharged engine. We got any more cars back here? No, just got more junk to search through. So, oh, 19,000. Should we buy our first car? We've got a Bolt Atlanta supercharged. Let's buy it. Should we buy it? Yeah, why not? We're going to buy it for 19,000. We're going to restore it and we're going to sell it. So, let's just have a quick look around, see what junk we've got, see if we've got any parts for that. Uh, let's just take the green ones, the ones that are in pretty good condition. No, give me that back. So, I've got a feeling these ain't going to be free, but it's let me put them in my inventory now. But... Oh, supercharged water pump. We might need that. So we're going to keep that on us. Because that could potentially be a good find. So I've got no idea of the condition of that car that we've just bought. Okay, we already looked at that one. Did I look in there? No. Oh, tail light. Oh, we've got a trunk. Yeah, even if even if worse comes to worse, we could just sell all of this stuff anyway. So we're not going to lose out on money. I am really disappointed that I couldn't buy this vehicle. That would have been a really nice vehicle to add to the collection. So we've got this last piece of junk to search, and that oh no, one more. Let's take the headlight, and let's return to the garage. How much are they going to want for that? Four hundred and forty-five. So that's not too bad. So we'll buy the parts. I thought it was going to be like that. I thought when we tried to exit, they were going to ask me for some money. Because nothing's ever free in this world. So let's head back to the garage and we'll see how much work we've got to do on that car. Okay, so what have we got now then? Uh, I'm not actually sure what that is. It's a nice pickup truck. Let's have a look at the car status. So I can already sell it for 21,000. 
I've done nothing to it and I can sell it for 21,000 already. That's a bonus, but we're going to move on to the ramp. And let's just go and have a look what a piece of junk we just bought. So should we, the question is, do we do a full restoration or do we just do, let's go on air examine mode. And let's have a look at the condition of some of these parts. So, oh, poor condition, not liking it. Can be examined on the test path, so we'll put her in the test path as well. So, know, that's about the limit to what I can do. But I don't know, I might do a full restoration. No, we don't want to be on part mounting mode. What am I doing? So let's strip the engine down. We definitely need some new air filters. Carburetor bowels. Yeah, we'll strip them out. Uh, this is a nice car. I do like it. I think it will look very good once we've fully rebuilt it. But like I say, it's going to take a long while till we can fully rebuild this. So let's take off all of these dirty dirty components and let's make it like a brand new car it's probably not going to be worth the money but let's take everything off everything and then we'll evaluate what we've got and what's worth keeping steering pump wow we've got a Belgian steering pump that is not very common these days this big ass water pump. Wow. Never worked on a car this old before. This car is very old. I'd like to know what the status inside the engine's like. Like cams. Okay, we're missing parts from the engine. It's not good. I don't know if we are missing parts from the engine, but I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be something in there. So let's get the cam covers off. Let's have a look at the state of the cams. Lots of bolts to be taken off here. Uh, bolt after bolt after bolt after bolt. Ugh. So we've got all these rocker arms, they're not in the best of condition. So I'm guessing you just buy each piece by piece and I've got to remove all of these before I let it can cover off yep yeah. oh this is not going to be fun i got to do this on both sides as well I can always try to repair some parts I really should have cleared out my inventory before I started dismantling this but I'm an idiot. What can I say? Alright, so we've almost got the engine completely stripped down. Well, I, I, I can't say that, but why won't it let me take the head off? What's blocking it? Ignition wise, maybe? Ah, spark plugs. Of course, because it's an 8 valve. So we've got 8 spark plugs to take out. Right. So now, you should just pop off. There we go. So underneath here. Are... Hold on a minute. We had the rockers, but no cams. A little hidden clip on the front. So this is going to be a big engine rebuild this is. So let's take this one off. Another 10 bolts. Wow this is a lot of bolts. Right. 
Oh, okay. This is going to be a long process. So I'm probably going to speed this up so you guys don't have to sit here and watch it. Finally, I've got the engine completely stripped down. But the only issue is now, I have only got 1,000 to spend on the new engine. Oh wow, look at these parts, they look awesome. But I don't think we're going to be able to afford them at the minute. So let's go on the main shot, let's go on the engine. And first off, we need the V8 block. So how much is a V8 block going to cost me? Which one is it? Ooh, that looks nice. V8OHC. Or is it that? That's the one that I need. Two and a half thousand. I don't even have enough to buy the engine block. This is not good. So I've stripped the engine completely down anyway. Got a bumpers. Um, looking at the rest of the car, it's not too bad. The main thing is the engine, so... For now, we're just going to have to move the car into the car park. So, for now, that is going to be the case. And I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm going to go off and do some more grinding. Hopefully, we can get to level 13 pretty soon. And unlock the... Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, let's have a look at the inventory, see what stuff I've got to sell. So now I've got a lot of stuff. So what we got, $11. So I think I'm just going to sell everything that's below 50%. Oh, that's just given us a nice handsome 5,000. Okay, so we've got plenty of wheel bearings, got brakes, I've got a lot of stuff. Just not sure how much I'm going to use. So why can't I create a new engine? Add engine. Okay. So the question is, let's buy the. Oh no! Please don't tell me I just bought the wrong one. I believe I just bought the wrong one. Oops. Spent two and a half thousand on the wrong garage, on the wrong car. So let's go and have a look at the car in the parking lot anyway.
the one that's got no engine, no bonnet, nothing. And we'll go and have a look at it. The only downside is we can't actually spray the car yet. Hmm. That's not good. This is not good. Not good at all. Okay, okay. So. Overview mode? No, I don't want photo mode. How do I move it back to my garage? Ah, there you go. Move to garage. Perfect. Back to the garage we go. Okie dokie. We are back. So let's put this back on the lift. I don't know why I put it on the lift. I don't think I need it on the lift to put or at even attempt to put this engine back in. Oh, thank God I did buy the right engine. Oh. Whew. That could have been a waste of two and a half thousand. Okay, so now obviously we need to put in the cam, I think it is. I can't, I can't remember. So we need to lift her up and we need to find out which cam we're going to use because I don't want to put the wrong one in. If I put the wrong one in, it's devastating. So we've got 2,600 left to spend on this vehicle. And we're going to make it look pucker. It's going to look incredible. So we need a crankshaft V8. And then we need the bits that hold the crankshaft on. They were bearings. Oh, where am I going? I keep forgetting I've got the tablet. I can just go on the tablet. So let's go on engine and we'll type in V8. That will narrow our searches down. And then what did we need? Crankshaft V8. I'm guessing it's the OHV version because that's the one we've got in our vehicle. And then we need uh, crankshaft bearings. Which probably won't be on air because yeah because we're searching for this crankshaft bearings there we go and we want two of them perfecto so let's put the camshaft back in lovely so now we just need to put crankshaft bearing caps back on oh this engine is going to be lovely when it's finished ok so now we need piston with conrads so that's all access, oh we need an oil pan for this so let's go on a tablet and find an oil pan so we need an oil pan for the V8 that one uh, no, I've already got one of them. Sure, I've already got one of them. So I'm pretty sure I bought it when I was doing a different car. And it was the wrong one. There it is. So why will it not let me put that on? Ah, because I still need to attach the pistons. So let's bring it down. And we'll buy the pistons while that's coming down. Okay, so we need a piston. Oh, 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 oh. We need eight of them. That's another four hundred dollars gone. And then we need eight new piston rings. Do I need eight or do I need sixteen? Hopefully, I don't need sixteen. Uh, no. What? What am I doing? So let's go on assembly mode and let's push the pistons in. Uh, uh, what? Oh, no way, I've just bought the wrong ones. Ah, oh, so I bought them. Ah, oh, they weren't even the expensive ones. Oh dear. This is going to bankrupt me. That costly mistake is going to bankrupt me. Okay. So let's get back in and let's put these pistons in. And I, I've got a feeling that is going to be the end of this episode. Because it is just going to be one of those. 
annoying things that I can't help. But what can you do at the end of the day? So we'll put the new pistons in either way. Because we need them in. Even though we bought eight of the wrong ones. Maybe we can sell them for a little bit of a profit. Hopefully we can. Okay, that's all eight pistons fitted with brand new piston rings. And then we need to go back under the car. Attach the pistons on with a... I don't know what they're called. Until I look at it. Oh, what are they called? Rod cap. Sure, we need a rod cap. Where's the rod cap? There we go. And we need eight of those. Three, another 320. We officially only have $600 left. used parts in this car and then the oil pan can go on yeah at least I didn't have to buy the oil pan that's a good part we saved some money as little as it was we saved some money okay so we need a very very large flywheel but that is it for underneath the engine so let's have a look on the inventory, and I might just sell everything what I have except for the bushes and brake pads, stuff that I need. That I don't need them. Don't need them. Gonna keep that. Gonna get rid of them. Get rid of all these rims, tires. Keep the shock absorbers. Keep the bottom arm springs. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna sell everything less than 80%. No, less than 90%. Okay, so that's a bit more cash in the pocket. We've got a couple of cases to open up, so we'll open them quickly. Oh, that's that's looking good. What is that? Please tell me that's something for a V8. Ah, engine headache. That's unfortunate. Got an ignition coil then. So we've got one more crate here as well, so we'll open that. Hopefully we get lucky from this one. We've got fan, an exhaust manifold, V8 OHV, perfect. We actually just got a part that we actually need on a vehicle. So we've got loads of barn finds. I need to sell all of these because I don't need them. Oh my god, 25 each. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I think that's everything what I can sell for now. Oh, I can get rid of that. Don't need that. Uh, Alright, that'll do for now. That's, that's going to get us a bit further. So what do we need now? We need engine two engine heads for a V8 OHV. So let's put in head engine head V8 but we need the OHV version wow they're $800 each 1600 just for them and that is practically nothing really is it considering we've still got to buy all of the, the rockers and I'm assuming camshafts because they weren't in the engine unless this vehicle doesn't have camshafts, but that would very, very surprise me. Very much. I know this is turning out to be a longer episode, but we're doing a full engine rebuild. So we need a supercharge intake car, and we need, 
Why is it not letting me put... Ah, there we go. Valve push rods. We'll do them first. So we need... How many of them? Wow, that's a lot. Help a fucker to that. Okay, found it anyway. Ooh. Let's find out which one it is, because I don't want to waste the money on the wrong ones. It was just the standard valve push rods. So I think I need 16 of them. But that's not too expensive. It's only $80, so nothing to worry about. I can't believe I was completely missing cam jams. I got robbed. Thieves who own that garage. They were thieves. Typical thieves. So that's the 16 of these almost done. Then we've got to do the rocker covers. Uh, not covers, the actual rockers. Luckily, we didn't actually have to change the springs as well. But we bought new heads anyway, so the new springs. So we need to buy, again, 18 rocker arms. So where's a rocker arm? They're $15 each, but we need 18 of them. Uh, 16 of them, so that's going to be expensive. No, come on, 16. There we go. $240. That's not too bad. But this engine's going to look beautiful. Oh, I've just remembered these all need bolting in as well. Oh god, this is going to kill me. I'm going to speed this up for you guys and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, that is that officially done. So now we need some engine head covers B for a VA OHV. So we need engine cover. Engine cover A for a VA AHV. OHV. Okay, so that's gotta be that one. Oh, engine head cover. We need an engine hook for A or B. I remember we definitely needed an A, but I'm sure one side is going to be different to the other. A and B, yeah, thought so. So we already bought an A, so we'll assemble that quickly and then we'll go and buy a B. I would like to have bought these painted. But, okay, so we can actually, so what do we need? We need supercharger intake manifold, and we did the engine head cover B. So let's buy the engine head cover B, and we need a supercharger manifold. Supercharger intake manifold. Oh, oh. It's that one. Thousand. Wow. That's it. We officially have no money again. So I'm guessing this ain't got any. Uh, but then again, I'm not used to working on old cars. Or classic cars, should I say. Let's have a look. Just to quickly have a look how much the supercharger is going to cost me. Uh, okay. Supercharger is going to cost me 2000 definitely don't have that money right now let's have a look in the other power boost shop for a supercharger okay there isn't one we've only got an alternator no no supercharger 
Well, I guess not because I searched for it and it weren't there. So that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to have to go back on the grind and get some different vehicles and do some work and hope that we can finish building this engine in the next episode. I was hoping to get it done this episode, but you know what it, you know what it's like. I've got no money. I'm poor. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave me a like rating, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.